Hey guys, uh, Ryan Melancon here. Thought I'd just do a, a quick raw video uh, showing you how to place an order for a Graybo stock. Uh, this is this is your first time ordering or your first uh, you know custom rifle build. There's a lot of selections here you may not be familiar with, so I thought I'd just kind of do a, a a preview here and a, a trial run and show you how to make these selections. Um, we'll just go ahead and get started. On every product page for a stock, you'll see our lead time listed here. This is updated pretty frequently. Uh, so these lead times that you see six weeks, uh, eight weeks are accurate. So finish, first option. Um, you can select any of these color finishes here. Some of them have a, a associated up charges to them, like uh, QU Verde. It's $100 more to apply that fancy camo. Or you can just, you know, choose one of our painted finishes here, like a woodland camel. So next, adjustable cheek rest. Um, if you want an adjustable cheek riser installed, it does add uh, two weeks to the delivery time. And it does uh, add some weight. And there's enough charge for that. So if you want that option, hit yes. If not, select no. Action orientation, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, right or left-handed. Action Inlet, um, got a lot of selections here. You'll see some of them have a $25 charge, some of them do not. Uh, reason being is a lot of these actions here, you'll see, um, like the Bighorn Origin, uh, they all, a lot of these manufacturers state that, you know, their actions are a Remington 700 footprint, and that's mostly true, but not totally. Uh, for example, this Origin, actually has a longer ejection port uh, than a Remington 700. So what we do is we put the stock up on our CNC machine and we modify this port and extend it, cut it and extend it to match uh, the actual action footprint. So that's why those fees are there. If you, it doesn't, it's purely cosmetic, like for the origin, for example. Um, if you didn't want to pay that $25, you could go with a Remington 700 inlet, and then, you know, this wouldn't line up right here as far as where the stock is cut, but, you know, you can avoid that fee. Uh, caliber, pretty self-explanatory as well. Just type that in there. So action length, if it's a 308, it's a short. Bottom metal, uh, you can select uh, like a factory floor plate for a Remington 700. Um, Graybo, we make our own floor plates here as well, or you can go with a detachable box mag system. You just select that. You'll see here that if you select a, an M5 bottom metal or the Graybo uh, detachable box uh, magazine bottom metal, uh, this will pop up. So if you don't have one already, you can actually add it to your cart and purchase one right here. Um, all these selections have what they call smart logic. So as you're going through and making selections, some stuff will pop up, some will disappear, uh, depending on your selection. Next up, barrel. Uh, I want to show you this. Um, you'll see we have other selections down here. Don't 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 get ahead of yourself when you're making these selections. Just just follow down the line here because you'll see, like for barrel, if you had the factory uh, Remington Sendero barrel. You could select it, and you see some stuff disappear. And if you don't have a factory barrel, let's say you had a BART line, we'll have we'll have some other information we'll need from you. So we'll say we'll go with the BART line. It's a fifty dollar upcharge because uh, the terrain stock specifically uh, pops out of our molds, drop and ready for a Sporter or Magnum Remington contour or their Sendero contour. So if you have a barrel contour that is different than that, um, we'll need to modify the stock and machine it so that your barrel uh, drops in and free floats. So bar line for the barrel. Does your barrel have a barrel nut? Uh, some people aren't sure what that is, so I talked to my buddy Google and told him to show me. Um, here's one, a Remington 700 with the barrel nut. So if you have one of those uh, screwed on your barrel, you will select yes. If you don't, no. 
contour number. You know, all these aftermarket barrels have different contour numbers associated with them. So just make your selection of what you have. Let's say it's a number five. Finish shank length. This one kind of gives um, people some trouble sometimes. Um, if you email us at sales at graybo.com, uh, we will email you a photo uh, showing you how to take that measurement. But I have that right here. Finish shank length. So basically what we need is, it's basically the chambered area uh, of the barrel. Um, we need the measurement from the face of the action forward to the first break in that barrel taper. Just We just need this straight dimension. It's two inches here. Here's one like a, here's like a Remington 700 style with the Rico lug. We need it from the face of the action, including the lug, to the first break in that taper. So it's two inches. Two inches in this example anyway. All right, lastly, uh, we got some options down here, down here that will vary uh, depending on uh, what stock you're looking at. Like for the terrain, you can change the length of pull. If you're a shorter guy or a taller guy and you need the stock shorter or longer, you can make your selection here. And then lastly, we have, uh, if you want to replace the two front studs on the bottom of the forearm with a pick rail, uh, if your bipod attaches that way, you can add that here as well. And then just add the card. Let's do another one real quick since um, the Phoenix is a little bit different. A lot of this is all the same, you know, finish, action orientation, inlet, length, bottom metal, all, all that kind of stays the same. It'll look similar. The one big difference is the barrel. Uh, basically, the Phoenix is a universal uh, barrel. Uh, and so it takes everything up to an MTU. Uh, contour. So you don't have to make any selections here. Uh, you also notice, I might as well show you this, there's no fees uh, for um, action modification because the Phoenix is a universal stop. What I mean by that is that there, there, it's like a chassis where the rifle sits in here and we don't have to make any cuts for the ejection port. Or anything like that. It's just a straight line all the way across. So no additional fees. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope that maybe answered some questions for you. If you do have them, please don't hesitate. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Thanks.